But my next guests are currently the toast of the West End as the stars of this hit musical. No one's out to get me. That's the way it seems. Disappointed, haunted all my dreams. And then I saw her face. I saw her face. Please welcome Kimberly Walsh and Nigel Harmon. Nigel, <laughs> <laughs> right, good to see you. All right. Oh, dear, you've got the hardest bit over, these six-inch heels coming yeah, down those stairs. Yeah, the hardest bit. <laughs> but talking about, you know, nerves and whatnot, <laughs> Debut in the West End at the Theatre Royal Drury Lane. <laughs> I know. Just take us to that first night and the, what you felt uh, like half a minute before the curtain went up. Do you know what? I actually got a really strange sense of calm on the first night, and I think it was because a lot of the fans had come to watch the show. I had some of the girls there, Cheryl and Nicola were there, so I felt like. I had some support in the audience. Because often it's worse when you know who's there rather than better. I but... know, but I guess because I'm so used to having them with yeah. me, it was like they were there in spirit. <laughs> it helped me through a bit. Are you having a ball? Yeah, absolutely loving it. It's so much fun. It's At a great least you show. get to stand up straight. <laughs> now, now <laughs> show us, show us how you do the entire musical. Just oh, demonstrate okay. why. You... It may take some time. It may take some time. This is how I spend uh, my evenings. <laughs> Like that. Like this. So, <laughs> as, 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 oh, as, oh, look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is really yeah. But you do get a great play, the evil Lord Farquhar. Yeah. Look at this, with bendy legs. Four oh, yeah. Feet, four feet tall. It's not camp at all, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very, very straight. Yeah. So They're tell us a bit about your character then. Well, uh, he's, yeah, like you said, he's the kind of uh, the arch nemesis and he's trying to marry the beautiful Fiona so he can become king, but um, <laughs> secretly he loves musical theatre. <laughs> so uh, when, when he's um, below ground, he tortures gingerbread men, and when he's above ground, he's all camp and singing and dancing. So, um, I have a whale of a time, really, an absolute ball. Yeah. Clearly, somebody's yeah. going to rumble you two just having a good time. I know, yeah. 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 I had to go back to her first night. So I felt like a pop star because every time any of it us came mad, on, people were screaming and cheering, and it's just another day for Kimberly. But for us, we were like, yay! <laughs> so it made it a really great show, didn't it? Oh, like, yeah. It made it fun for yeah. everyone. It, it was, was brilliant. It was like a concert. Well, you get to wear that weird costume all the yeah. time, but you have a transformation. I do. Into a sort of green ogre type <laughs> thing. <laughs> I have a very attractive transformation. <laughs> <laughs> right at the end of the show, so I managed to survive like the whole two hours without being green. Looking and beautiful. Then I get green. Then you get green. How long does it take to do? It? I think a minute and ten seconds we've got. So I literally, as I'm running off stage, take the wig off, take the veil off, drop the dress, then just stand really while they literally roll on my face in green, pull the fat suit on, put the other wig on, straight back on. Quite easy. It's, fine. <laughs> it's a sort of reverse of a guy to do little, isn't it? You it end is. up looking worse than when you started rather than better. To, I have to do that on my mouth so that my lips stay red. Oh, right. I can't even talk to anyone. I'm literally just like. <laughs> but um, it's it's all part of theatre, isn't oh. it? It's fun. How long are you in it for? Do you know? Um, at the moment, yeah, I'm staying until the end of February, so I've got a good five months, which is nice. Good long. Yeah. What about you, Nigel? Yeah, same February. Yeah. Yeah. Is it time. to be in a West End run like that? At a, a, a bit the best theatre, I suppose, well, the Palladium and, and, and Drury Lane are the two best theatres, with a good run ahead of you. Does that make it even more pleasurable, or is it, goodness me, I've got to keep it fresh, Nigel, is that...? Um, it's incredibly pleasurable to be at Drury Lane, especially when we do warm-ups, it's completely empty, and you walk out there and you see what a fantastic mm -hmm. theatre it is, and those nights when you're feeling a bit tired or you're a bit down, there's 2,000 people who are loving it, and the, the show up. itself is incredibly kind of joyous and yeah. funny, and, you know, it takes what it does in the film and then and makes it even better by adding all the songs. So yeah. we're kind of really lucky, because by the time we come on and bow at the end, you know, people are loving it and standing yeah. up and cheering. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if so we came out on the end and everyone was like, oh, that was a bit rubbish, yeah. then it must be difficult. It but definitely puts you lucky. in a good mood, doesn't yeah, it? it, does. it yeah. Yeah. Well, when you've done this, I mean, there's always been rumours of a Girds Allowed reunion. Am I, are yeah. you, is it, I'm is gonna it be on in the it. cards? I'm going to be We'd like to make an announcement. <laughs> 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 <laughs
Could we see it? my hair in a bob. Um, do you know what? We are, we are definitely <laughs> talking about plans for next year because it's our 10-year anniversary. Yeah. So we don't know exactly what it's going to be. What, I can't give likely. too much information, but we'll definitely be doing something together Wonderful. again, which will be lovely. Well, in the meantime, keep doing something lovely. I will do. himself. Kimberly's <laughs> going to perform one of the songs from Shrek the Musical oh, at yes. the end of the show, so you get a bit as well. Yeah. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, Kimberly Walsh and Nigel Harmon. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.